Greetings. Welcome to Safe Space Talks, My Mastery. One more time and again, I'm your host, Nigeria Anderson. And today I just want to talk about moving towards confidence. You know, we we lose our confidence when we're in trouble, when a traumatic experience affects us, mind, body, soul, right? Our spirit is crushed. Because all the things that we normally were doing and minding our own business before we've had this traumatic experience, we feel or felt comfortable in that space. But when you have a traumatic experience, then you lose your confidence and you're insecure and you're anxious and you're having panic attacks and you know triggers pop up and you're just in this whirlwind of a mess. So today I just really want to just talk about some things that, you know, you can do if you're going through a moment. Okay. So I want to do a live five minutes sitting still, um, mo- uh, meditation or what have you. I'm going to do that with you. But first, I want you to focus on some things that I'm going to talk about. For example, how to master your joy, right, is one, knowing what what, what brings you joy. What brings you joy? What do you like? Because again, when you're going through that dark time in your life, you forget Okay, the things that you enjoyed is like, what do I like again? You know, what? Huh? Right? It's like this fog or, you know, you just don't think about those things. So this is what I need you to think about. I need you to think about what brings you joy. This is across the board. This is for everybody, male, female. What brings you joy? What is it that you like? Write it down. Push yourself to do it. You, you're gonna. It's it, you gotta. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see this? I'm wearing this shirt. Okay. So anyway, um, you have to push yourself to do to do the things that you normally would do or that you once enjoyed doing, and based on you know your capacity, make that effort. Your love walk, right? Um, not the coochie, coochie, ooh, ooh, love, but, you know, your love walk with the Lord, your love walk with your family. And listen, we're not in time to be, um, not in love with our family. We all we got. Okay. So, and if you're a Christian, let me just say this. And I say it a lot. If Jesus was to reconcile. Jesus reconciled us. I'm sure you can reconcile, right? I'm I'm not saying you got to go to dinner. I'm not saying y'all got to hang out. I'm not saying you had to call every day, but I am saying you need to reconcile. So, and not, oh, I don't want them to see me like this. No, hey, you know what? Sorry, but hey, you got a minute? Just saying. And gratitude. The one thing I know for sure, when I woke up out of my coma, I I was just like, what? Where am I? You know, and then I was happy that I was alive. I, I, I'm telling you, I was like, what? I had no clue what happened, but I was happy that I, I was somewhere. You know, I didn't, I couldn't, you know, my mind, I had to, I was like, am I in a hospital? You know, like, what? But after everything, I was glad I made it. You know, I was, I was glad I made it. And we have to release, release fear. Because that that monkey, that that fear monkey is something. But you know, you have to be proactive 
and saying, I will not, I, you can get your Bible verse. God has not given me the spirit of fear, of love, power, and a sound mind. You can say, I have faith and not fear. You can say, fear, go away. I rebuke fear. I'm not going to be fearful. I'm going to fight fear. God said, fear not. Like, you got to get rid of fear, okay? Because, uh, you know what? Fear is just like, ooh, ooh. But I want y'all to know, you can overcome fear. Then I want you to overcome anger. Because sometimes when you're, you've been in an accident or you're dealing with a traumatic experience and you lost a limb or activity of your limbs or your eyesight or whatever, because it, it can get brutal, okay? You, you got to let go of anger. You, you, you're going to have to let go of anger because I, I was so mad. Like I had to learn how to walk. I had to learn how to eat food. I, it, it, it was horrible. And when you're in that state, you think this is it. You you think this is it. This is this, this it. I'm going to be like this for the rest of my life. And then you get mad and you are angry because this is not how I was born. So now I'm mad because why, why somebody got to take me to the bathroom? Okay, I'm grown. I've been going to the bathroom by myself all this long time. So you're going to have to get rid of the anger. You got to release anger, release fear, and release uh, what else happens? Um, comparison, right? Don't, don't start comparing your situation to anybody else's situation because your situation is your situation. And so don't 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 do that just don't don't do it okay or like well if i wasn't like this then i could don't let those thoughts enter into your mind don't let them enter into your mind and now ladies and gentlemen let's do the five minutes so i want you to get you a cup of water got my phone i want you to get a cup of water i want you to um get some tea, whatever your five minutes needs to be. Uh, if you want to write for five minutes, this can really be our five minutes. This, this is going to be our five minutes. Me, I'm just going to sit still and be quiet because that's what I like to do for my personal five minutes. Um, you know, my power break. This is our five minute power break. This is live and direct. Um, so, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. So we're going to do live the five minutes, right? So I'm just going to be quiet. You can get some tea, coffee, water, whatever you would like, but let's be together and let's just be still. Yeah. Let's just keep each other company. Five minutes. There we go. Sit. Quiet. Mm. Take your breaths. In four. Out four. Whistle. I mean, form your mouth. Not just. Okay. Let's go.
Well, we're back. <sighs> Do you feel better? I mean, like, I mean, did that feel good? To just sit still for five whole minutes? I like my ring. Okay, so we're talking about moving towards confidence, things that you need to put into place. Find your joy, your love, and um, gratitude. Release fear. Release anger and release comparison. And this is a five-minute rule. This five-minute rule was just for us to sit quiet. You could have meditated. You could have took journal for five minutes. You could have had your coffee or tea and sat and sup for five minutes. Did that feel good? Please put in the chat, how did that five minutes feel? I mean, I feel refreshed. It blessed me. And remember, you can breathe in for, let out for, I mean, these, these are things that you can do daily to improve your mind, the way you think, what you're thinking about, how you think, take captive those negative thoughts that try to creep in unaware, you know? So now, you know, you're able to fight back. You're able to say, I'm not gonna think like that. I'm not gonna be fearful. I'm not gonna be anxious. I'm not gonna have an anxiety. I'm not gonna deal with this anxiety. I don't have to. You got to make a choice. You have to choose to say no. No way. Not today. We're not doing that today. We did it yesterday and the day before, but we're not doing it today. I'm fed up. I'm tired. And I choose not to. Right. You, you know, I always say you go to the store. You 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 order a sandwich, you want I'm a lettuce, tomato, onions. No, don't put this on there, don't put that. Well, don't put this in your mind and don't put that in your mind and put positive stuff in your mind. And this way you can move forward towards regaining your confidence because trauma takes away, it strips you, you become insecure, you feel so vulnerable. You're like, oh my goodness, you know, they said they was coming, now they, they're not coming, I need them, right? So let's learn to kind of be independent in our recovery. And in our recovery, we want to find things that bring us joy. We want to increase our love walk um, and our gratitude. We want to learn what are our highs and our lows so even when you're struggling, there's still a point in the day you have a little, a little, I feel all right. And then you have maybe the majority of the day, I don't feel all right. But I always talk about those small wins, right? So when you're feeling good, let's, let's increase that momentum of feeling good by not feeling good and then quickly re uh, going back to feeling bad, right? Because then you fall into the slump and we're trying to get out of the slump so that we can get our confidence back. So let's find momentum in our, the times we feel good. So you gotta, guys, listen, this is work. This is not playtime. This is work. What we've, what we're doing today is work. So if at two o'clock you find that you're feeling a little pep in your step, write down two o'clock today, I feel a little pep. So you know what you plan for? Tomorrow at two o'clock, I'm gonna try to do something, you know, that I enjoy doing. Okay, this is real stuff. This is real stuff I'm helping you with. Okay, this is not, <clears throat> this is not play play. This is for real. This is only if you if you really want to increase the better part of you. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, what do I, it's an inside job. 
It's already inside. It's inside job. You have everything you need inside of you. It's inside job. You got to reroute the lines of communication and put the new lines in, right? It's like we move from copper to fiber optics, right? So you got to rewire your mind. You got to rewire it. You got to build up new neurons. You got to build up new patterns of thoughts because those thoughts lead to behavior. So if we're going to go towards improving our lives because we understand our greatest investment is our mind, right? Do you realize how much science is going, how much funding? You know, last video I talked about AI will never be able to catch up to what God created. They may come close, but you you cannot do it. You're not going to be able to duplicate the genius of God. But you, you know, but there's billions of dollars going into making robots look just like us. I mean, the wax museum. They've been planning this forever. So you go to the wax museum and all we're doing is like, mm, it looks like him, but not really. Or yeah, but they're just like getting better on that. And then soon you, they're going to clone people and you'll be like, wait a minute, that look just like, wait, no. Body, I mean, the way they feel, they, these guys are spending bucks. So to prepare you not to trip out, we're going to master our own mind. We're going to get a grip on things, right? And we can't be falling apart. And there's just small things that can help us in our day-to-day -day when we take time for our five-minute rule, when we take time to defeat fear and anger and comparison, when we take time to breathe and do our breathing exercises, when we take time to take those thoughts captive and say, no, I'm not, no, I'm not conscious commands. No, I'm not going to think about that today. No. When we turn off the phone, for our five minutes when we're not on social media for five minutes when we stay focused there's 24 hours in a day you have to make time for you i say five minutes i take more but you know everybody's so busy i figure if i say five and then we did it live for five minutes to see just see how you feel to just sit still just be quiet you know how did that feel? I really want to know. All of these small tools will improve your your daily your your daily attitude. It, it it changes you because you're more focused on positive and creating a better way of doing things than your normal or in your anger or in your fear, do you know that you're operating in fear and anger, right? And it only really shows when someone gets on your nerve, but that's because you're so busy operating in it, it has become so familiar to you, you don't even know you mad. Yep, and that's the danger zone. That's your danger zone because it will show up so unexpectedly and then you have hindrances and delays and all of that is because your emotions and your feelings are out of whack and no one or maybe someone did try to tell you you didn't listen but you've been harboring all of that all of these emotions and feelings and then someone pokes the bear and you're just like Arr! and you have to make a conscious effort you have to make a conscious effort to not do that i love my godson he says i asked you not to do that Don't, you you have to make you you have to make a conscious effort not to do that 
not to explode on everybody because you mad, because you're angry, because you haven't addressed the things that you needed to address. So you have to do those conscious commands and say, I will not be nasty. I will not do that. I choose not to let these emotions and feelings get me down or get me off my square or have me yelling and upset because what is that doing? Creating more stress. Then you're having these highs and these lows and you can't, you can't get it together. Sin is easy, right? Practice kindness. Practice the fruit of the spirit. Practice, 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 right? And be careful of mind, mindless activity. You know what mindless activity is? Because, you know, I do it purposely because I put it in my schedule. You know, I do have, we all need it where we're just not, not so much the five, five minute rule of taking a personal me break tea, coffee, breathing, meditation, not that one. This is when you just kind of just, you don't want to think about nothing. You could take a nap, okay? But mindless mindless activity is binge watching a movie, a, um, a TV series. Now, just because your favorite show comes on Tuesday doesn't necessarily mean Tuesday you need to sit on the couch and watch it. You you can put something else in that place, please. The, the TV show ain't gonna go nowhere. You can schedule it, all this technology. You can schedule it. You can schedule your time to watch it on the weekends. Now during the week, I do all my business. I do a lot of things during the week. Friday and Saturday are my two days. I do mindless activity. I purposely schedule it for that. So I will binge watch a series, preferably on Saturday. Um, but Friday, Saturday are my two kind of days. I'll do mindless activity, you know, just whatever I want. Like go to the park, walk the dog, do just it. I'll throw it in there because I have allotted myself time to just kind of be free. I don't want to work. I don't want to think about cleaning or nothing like that or any business thing. I try not to. When you're in, independent and you're an entrepreneur, you constantly, you know, for me, I used to. So I'm talking about experience here. I used to be like every day, every day, now, Friday and Saturdays are my days to play around. Sunday is my holy day. So it's church probably all day or just, you know, listening to encouraging messages, uh, uh, audio book, um, watching a Christian film. Uh, yeah, that's my holy day. So then it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesdays. I'm here with you guys. Aren't you happy? And so you have to schedule and plan. And when you challenge, get your friend, right? Friends got to step up. You got to get your friends to step up, okay? If they're not stepping up, maybe you didn't tell them that you need help. So you have to tell them, listen, when I was going through it, and I, I say this all the time, I told everybody because I wanted to get better. I, I was like, hey, guys, um, I'm off today. You know, shoot. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, uh-uh, no. Get, what's the song, That's What Friends Are For, right? Shoot. I'm practically married to my friends because I'd be like, look, I need you over here at eight. I need you. Can you go to the store? Can you come pick me up? Can you, can you, can you, can you? Hmm. Anyway, so these are the things you have to do. Remember, find your joy, your love, your gratitude, release fear, anger, comparison, get your breathing in for it, for out. right? Stretch. So you get rid of stress. 
stretch in the morning, stretch at night. Now let's talk about night. 30 minutes before you go to bed is a very crucial time. It's your wind down, right? In your wind down, TV off, no calls, right? Um, I, let me tell you how valuable my wind down, my wind down is. Now, I had a, I have a rule. Don't call me past ten thirty. Okay, some wind down. I'm going to bed. Bedtime. And I had a friend I was dating at the time, telling my business. And I would say, you know, hey, you know, don't call me past 10.30. And this, see, this is why you got to be sharp. Okay. Why? You live with somebody. You got a man. Why, 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 why? No. I'm going to sleep. This is how you start realizing how people don't take care of themselves. And so you try to take care of yourself and they mad. Okay. Of course, we broke up because I'm not arguing with you about don't call me after 1030. I got to block you, all kinds of craziness. We, we're not doing that. Okay. Just don't call me. You don't have that kind of access. Now, there's people got 24 hour, seven day a week access. They can call me anytime they want to, two, three in the morning. I see their number, I'm answering it. Other people, no. So anyway, 30 minutes before you go to bed, you got to do your wind down, right? Take your bath, stretch, bath. Bath should be the last 15 minutes. You know, you should soak, whatever. Get your clothes ready for tomorrow. Iron, because you might realize you have to wash something. If, you have, if you're blessed to have a washer dryer in the house, then you could throw that in for the quick wash and dry it and iron it and put all your stuff out. So in the morning when you wake up, that's not, the, that's not delaying you of what you're going to wear. Okay. Um, you can even prep this. I just recently started doing this. So I was getting ready to try to act fly, but I just re recently started doing this, prepping my breakfast or what I expect to eat, which has become actually really good because for some reason at night I make better choices for tomorrow to eat better. So I'm losing some weight here. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of exercising in the morning. Like, life is good. Like, I'm telling you, you this is the things you got to do. So, prep. you can prep what you're going to make in the morning, your breakfast or whatever, you know, coffee, yogurt, whatever you guys do in the morning. Um, prep it. Throw it in. Sometimes I might even cook it, put it in the freezer, and then throw it in the microwave in the morning. I know, I know. But it's my own personal fast food. It's not that I bought it from a fast food place or those places. Um, so prep your breakfast. Prep your clothes. Prep what you may have to do at work so you, you can use five to 10 minutes on the screen to see <clears throat> who you got to call, what emails you need to respond to, write that down, your to-do list, blah, 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 in the morning or whatever. You got, you, you, that's a priority, not everything. Just check to see what, what's a priority for tomorrow's business. Okay. Then you can journal for five minutes because, you know, I absolutely love journaling, journaling. Um, and remember, no TV, no phone calls. Pray, say your prayers before you go to bed. Meditate again if you want to. Read. Um, um, what else? Stretching. Do your stretches. Yeah, I said that stretching. Take your bath and take your butt to bed. Now, the key to success for proper sleep is to go to bed at the same time every night. Booyah! And then your body will learn to wind down by itself. 
our body, yo, the way God created us, amazing. Like, we are, we are fantastic. You are fantastic. You are super amazing. You're wonderful. You're wonderful and fearfully made. You're great. And the inside job is complete. He's giving you everything for life and godliness. I'm going to show my shirt. Because I need y'all. Can y'all get your t-shirts? Get your t-shirts. All right. All right. I just wanted to do that. I love my shirts. And you know what? Thank you to everybody who's wearing this shirt. Tag me on social media. It's love. It's love. It's love right here, you know, because I keep telling people, you know, I'm just not famous enough. But soon, soon, everybody going to know Safe Space Talk. Soon. And see, I want to journal this. This is my journey. This is me here like it is what it is, right? Is Here I is. And, um, you know, helping you guys move towards confidence because this took a lot. This this took a lot. It, it these small changes, small daily changes help me, and so I'm just sharing because I I you know I I can't I can't with some of the things that's going on right now. I you know I I want to I want to have some people here, but then I'll go on social media. I'm just like mm, never mind. So you got me. You got me and I'm here. And so um, my main priority is to make sure you have tools, tips, language on how to deal with this. And I have professionals come on to give you a, a more educational way of doing what you need to do. They'll give you a more educational format of what you should do, okay? But um, I still believe in Jehovah Rapha, and I know that the healing bread is for his children. And I know that if you activate, if you get, if you just say to yourself, I believe, and I shall receive. And then do become doers. You, 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 I'm gonna have you on the show. Cause you're gonna say, Nigeria, I did some of the stuff you told me, girl, it worked. And I'm gonna be like, come on on the show. And you can come on the show anytime you want. All you gotta do is email me at Safe Space Talks, my mastery. And I'm going to drop that right there because we're here every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And I want you to share, like, I, I'm, I'm loving the increase of numbers. So I know that y'all are trying to help me. So humble, thank you. Because, you know, I don't know how to do all of this. and be, I, You know, I will not beg y'all because wealth of information. You know, I get so upset when they say they hit black. They hit things from black people by putting them in books. That is so insulting to me. But I do know that people who want help get help. See, I wanted help. I got help. And now I just want to be, um, I want to pay it forward. I want to let you know that you can get better. Uh, you, you can get better. Now, we're still in September. And so it's still Suicide Prevention Month, I believe. So, hey, listen, if you're watching this and you're like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't know what I'm going through. Oh, no, you don't know, which <laughs> I promise you I do. But if you are going through something and you think nobody knows, I want you to dial 988 immediately immediately. If you know someone who is struggling and you don't know what to do, 
I want you to dial 988 and get some advice on how maybe you can get your friend um, out of some trouble. Okay. And I'm really working diligently on resources uh, for those who are rocking with me and know somebody or just listen, crisis happen. The Bible says there will be trouble. And if we not seeing trouble right now, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Yeah, but for those of us who still need a little more help, we need a friend of a friend, right? We got a friend named Jesus, but we still need a friend. Then I want to be the resource. I want to be the person that, um, you know, I ain't here trying to take your money. I, I do want you to buy it. I do want you to get a shirt. Okay, help me. Help me. Um, and, you know, let's make it. Let's make it do what it do. Because I don't know how many times they got to make records like they don't care about us. I don't know um, how many songs, the big payback. I, I, I don't know how many times the messages got to get to some of us that uh, we all we got. So if we're not helping each other, we're hindering and destroying each other. And it is clear that we should love one another and esteem one higher than ourselves. Many of you don't, don't know that scripture, so they don't know how to do it, but I do. And so that's why I'm here. I love me some y'all. I'll be here next week. Same that time, same that channel. Y'all be blessed.